Okay, this is going to be a very short video um, demonstrating how to create rastered layers from NetCDF files and then how to make those permanent. So um, if you've downloaded your NetCDF files or in your downloads folder somewhere, you want to use the make, the make NetCDF raster layer tool. I usually just use the search and search NetCDF, um, but you want to make a raster. Um, I've already created my later or my earlier time period, so I'm going to go look for the later time period. My downloads folder. And I renamed these as soon as I downloaded them so I could tell them apart because they come in, the maps that you make from NASA GISS come in all with the same name. Um, so I named mine with the time period. Uh, I ran mine January to December and had a global mean increase of 0.8 uh, Celsius. So I just put that in there so I've got those bits of information. The rest of this you can just leave, um, except for I like to call mine the same thing, so I'm going to copy that. Okay, and then yeah, leave the defaults, and it runs pretty fast. Okay, so now I've got my two different time periods in here, and um, this guy is just a layer file that's being drawn from that NetCDF file in your downloads. So if you go to the properties in the source tab, you'll see that it's showing as a raster, um, but it is still just drawing from this guy. And so the symbology that you've just applied doesn't really exist. It's just an in-memory kind of um, data set. So I like to right-click and save as a layer file that's going to preserve um, the symbology, even though I haven't done anything yet, and the display, projection, all this stuff. So um, right now you can see that I've got my um, earlier time period saved as a layer file. I'm going to save this later one. Um, so now in my downloads folder I should have two... Let me show you really quick. Uh, let's see, downloads. I've got the two uh, net CDF files and then I've got associated layer files that go along with them. So this is the symbology. Now I haven't done anything to them yet so I'm going to want to once I apply my symbology and do all that work I'm going to want to save as a layer file again to overwrite those but just so you know that's how you can save. Alright, questions let me know. Thanks.